Did you know that they're doing a Monopoly movie? Or film? Yes, this is my third part of my third run on Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and I thought I'd start off a little bit differently by talking about some news I heard a few days ago. Well, actually, I, I, there were rumours going around uh, a little, a few weeks ago, but I read an article, a newer article, stating that apparently in development, or in the writing process, is a Monopoly movie. Proving that people pretty much make a movie out of anything these days. I mean, if they can make a movie about Hasbro toys and board games, why not Monopoly? Speaking of board game movies, they did that before with Battleship and, as we all know, that turned out great. So what is the Monopoly, uh, blah, blah, Monopoly film about? Well, they only gave us the gist of what it's going to be. Apparently some young boy, or young man rather, I, I think it's young boy, he born in Baltic Avenue, get it, because that's a um, property you could buy in the Monopoly board game, how creative. So yeah, the boy from Baltic Avenue has to try and make his way up in the economic ladder by going into community and chess and avoiding going to jail. That's pretty much the summary of the film. I don't know much more than that and I don't think many people do either, nor do, uh, nor do I believe that anybody else cares. But, well, well, who knows, hopefully it will be somewhat passable, because, like I said, previous films based on products that have pretty much n little to no character rarely turn out well, but, well, we'll just have to wait and see. It's being uh, written, or should I say, penned down by the same guy that did The Truman Show. One of the few Jim Carrey films I haven't actually watched, even though it's been out for, like, couple of decades or something so yeah we'll just have to wait and see for that I think the main pre reason why pe many people don't play Monopoly nowadays is because it takes too long and we're in an age where technology rules and um, yours truly is a tech hog always on the internet always playing video games and it's kind of a shame because, you know, board games have been around for so long that, you know, if only more people played them, really. But now you can get electronic board, uh, board games and apps, app versions, video game versions. But hey, uh, it's nice to play the odd board game every now and then, which I do with my family. You know, when, after we've had a few drinks or when it's like holidays or something. So this is one of the biggest mistakes I make in this run, which could have really helped me out, is the there's option item. Back then I had no idea what this item did, but now I do. It gives you basically that, more options when you defeat a boss. Um, by that I mean when you beat, you know, every time you beat a boss in this game, you know, like the final boss that allows you to progress to the next level, every time you beat a boss, you get a boss item, which can either help or not so help you for the next stage. With the there's option item, it allows, it gives you two items to choose from. You get to pick one of them and the other one disappears. There's option would have been really helpful here, allowing me to create a better set for myself with Azazel. But of course, I do not I did not know how important that item was. In honesty, I thought the item was some sort of like random item generator or something. Picking up will give you one random item. But, you know, that is the curse of the bl uh, blind, I think it is, which made everything pretty much random. You don't know what you're going to buy until you buy it, so, or you don't know what item you're going to get for beating a boss until you beat the boss and pick it up. So I didn't. I decided not to open the two lock door on the right there because I wanted to make sure that I had, I just wanted to explore the entire area to see how many keys I have, have, have the, to see how many keys I had at the end of it. And I also wanted to get into this room to get the black bean, even though I didn't know it was going to be the black bean, which isn't particularly helpful. A 
Another pretty big mistake was picking up the Eternal Heart immediately. I should have really, well, fast forwarding, face off against Envy. One of those bosses that's both tricky and easy. Uh, he, do he breaks apart easily, but at the same time, this leaves you little leg room to less leg room to move about and make sure you don't get hurt. Fortunately, I did not know that the spirit, the soul hearts, uh, you see the eternal hearts at the beginning, since I have no hearts, it goes to the, the first soul heart as opposed to the last one. So if I do get hit, I don't lose the eternal heart until I get to the, my final soul heart. Big ass leg. <laughs> Haven't played Arkham Knight yet, but darn it does look awesome. Although there are a few problems I have with it. First off, the obvious antagonist that is Arkham Knight. Turns out it's not a brand new character, but I won't spoil it because you know some people have yet to beat it and want to leave it you know, to, to find out for themselves, so I won't do that. Also, I think Batmobile is too prominent to make up for the fact that in the previous Arkham games it only made either a cameo or it was hardly ever, hardly ever appeared at all. So it's to make up for that absence and being unplayable in the other versions. And lastly, it looks just more the same, really. And as and you know what they say, um, you can never have too much of a good thing sometimes. Like for example, played Fallout 3 to death, played about half of Fallout Ve New Vegas, but I think the fact they were like, pretty much identical kind of put me off a little bit. That's why I haven't played New Vegas since, and maybe I intend to play it later on, maybe. I haven't been on my Xbox in like, ages. I'm talking about the Xbox 360. I'm going to wait until about Christmas to get Xbox One when the offers come rolling in and the deals come piling up. But you know, I've always been an Xbox person so I'll probably get it for Xbox One because I've heard that the PC version of Arkham Knight, yeah, had a few issues. Especially when it comes to, you know, frame rate. And I died from a fart. Yep, apparently touching red poo is dangerous, especially in this game. Super silly mistake. Ah oh well, time to start anew. So, until next time, we will do run four. Sorry, run three rather. I'm getting confused. Okay, until next time, thanks for listening and watching. Bloody red poo. Ugh. <laughs>